Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a little bit of a camera bag review from some cool gear from Think Tank Photo. You know how much I love their products, everything they create and everything I receive from them is absolutely top notch premium camera photography bag. So with that, I'm very excited to be uh, showing you guys this one. I already know what's in the box, however, I haven't done any sneak peeks or anything like that. Um, I received it while I was still in a wheelchair after my accident last fall, and I just hadn't gotten around to um, opening it. I wanted to do it here with you guys when I was kind of back to work and feeling all better, and I am almost 100%. And so, um, you know, I'm not going to be running a marathon anytime soon. However, I am back to work and um, I have been waiting since, I'm trying to see like the date on this one. Uh, yeah, kind of funny. This is from October 2015. So I have had this for five, almost six months, just waiting to be healed and get back to work. So I'm so excited about this. I hope you guys are too. Alright, so this is... I'm going to wait for all this noise. New packaging! Okay, gorgeous packaging. Beautiful. Girls love this kind of stuff. This is going to be awesome. This is the new Lily Deanne Mezzo bag. Uh, it is one of three in the Lily Deanne brand new series. They are premium photography camera bags for women that holds professional gear. They are just as gorgeous and professional as all the other Think Tank photo bags, but they have a beautiful feminine touch created just for women. Uh, so we're gonna get right to it. So first off, Bravo on the packaging and the box. This is rad. Um, to tell you a secret, um, my cats are probably going to like clean this box later because they love boxes. They're hilarious. I feel like it's my birthday. Getting a present is awesome. Shoot the dog away. Oh. Beauty-mess. Okay, uh, <laughs> where do we start? All right, so I, let's start with the name. All right, so this is the Mezzo bag, the second out of three in the Lily Deanne brand new series. There are two other bags that look just like this. One is smaller and it is called, forgive me, I did bring notes because there's a lot of great details in this brand new product. Uh, the smaller one is called the Lucido, I believe is how you pronounce it. So the Lucido, it's just like this, just a little bit more uh, uh, smaller in size, so more compact. The next size other than this and besides the Lucido is called the, the uh, Tuto. I think that's again how you pronounce it. Forgive not me if I'm not saying it correct. Um, however, the Tuto is bigger in size, you can fit more gear, maybe taller lenses and things like that. So the key features already that I love about this is that, uh, well, it's size for professional gear. So automatically, just like all the other Think Tank photo gear, uh, camera bags, you will just love it because all of your professional photo gear, also it would um, fit a mirrorless camera system as well. All the key features, if you go to the Think Tank Photo website, you can see the entire list. So I'm not going to cover everything here. You guys can go look at all those tech details over on their website. I will also link to this bag below so you don't have to go searching. You can just click right through. Um, it is, has, this is just, this is what's so nice about it. First of all, it just feels nice, like to the touch. So there's already, um, there's like full grain leather flap right here. And here I just wanted to show you kind of detail in the leather, that really nice rich leather. It's a dark chocolate brown or a dark espresso brown, however you want to say. Um, so it's it's fine grain leather. It is true leather. It's not a fake leather. So that is the front flap there. 
and the two smaller front pouches as well. And there are magnets here. So instead of having the Velcro flaps, these are magnet flaps that just snap really nice. So when you're actually on a shoot, probably at a wedding or an event, or even on set anywhere, and just I'm, I'm just every single shoot I can think of, this would be perfect because it's a lot quieter and still your stuff is secure with that nice flap. So we have full grain leather flap right here. And also on the exterior, there are magnets here as well. Awesome. It just, just the feel is nice. Just the leather is phenomenal. And inside here, I don't know if I can, you guys can see it, but let's see, there are, in these pouches, there are smaller pouches. So you can put your pens and pencils, uh, business cards, sticky notes, all those little things that you normally put in there. Your phone, my iPhone will definitely be going in there. The front exterior of this bag, uh, again, these are magnets that attach here. Really nice and strong magnets. You can hear it. They snap shut, really nice and tight. Little details that I want you to pay attention to are actually the robin egg blue threading on all the details on this bag that match the interior. Same with the zipper here. Two small pouches on the outside. Again, they have mag magnets as well. All right, so I just wanted to make sure that we could show you this is in focus. Here's the pouch that you can put business cards, pens, and everything. This pouch is also Robin's egg blue in the front. Here's my iPhone 6S. Easily fits in there, but lots of extra space. And that just goes shut like that. Here's a side pouch. Oh, that was cool. Okay, so the side pouch, I just opened it by accident by pulling on it, but that's cool. So it um, has a little snap, and so it expands a little bit right there, which is really nice. Probably fit a bottle of water right there, or any could probably actually fit in like a, a small prime lens or something right there as well. Same thing on this side, it goes down, you open it up, it expands a little bit more so you can put something in there. Really nice strap, nice padding, nice grips on that padding so that it doesn't hurt your shoulder, dig into it. Beautiful, nice uh, silver um, handwritten uh, penmanship penmanship but uh, design on the, the actual label right here which is a beautiful touch oh I love this um, this is very similar to the urban disguise design as well where this is actually designed to where this can fit onto one of your rolling camera bags so when you're traveling you can actually just sit this on top of your rolling camera bag when you have the rolling camera bag uh, handle extended out this little guy allows you to put it over that handle so then the handle comes through here you just grab the handle and both your rolling camera bag and this are stable together and you just have to worry about pulling and hauling one piece of gear through the airport or anywhere else awesome I'm gonna come back to this pouch because it's one of my favorite things. Here is that back label with a nice hand design. This right here is a pouch that you could put paperwork in. This is the pouch that is designed to um, work with any roller bag so that the handle of the roller bag comes up through here. So it's really nice. I like, pay attention to that nice robin egg blue detail which matches the interior of this bag. This just gives you a nice oversized zipper, gives you have more room. And how beautiful is that color? So the exterior, again, I have the, it's like a nice espresso, dark espresso brown leather, black nylon material on the outside. Inside is these gorgeous Robin's Egg Blue for just a really nice feminine touch. Um, 
this color actually makes me really happy. I'm here in Miami and a lot of accents in my house is gorgeous turquoise blue. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, so yay, love. All right. As with all of Think Tank photo camera bags, it comes with a rain flap. And again, as with all of them, it has the name of the camera bag that it, this specific rain flap is designated to. So I have a lot of different uh, Think Tank photo bags and uh, roller cases, and they all have a, a, you know, a rain pouch. I put them all in a box to tell you the truth, and then whenever I use them when I know it's going to rain, I know exactly which one I need to grab and take with me. So this is just a really nice touch. So the pouch on the exterior, that nice robin's egg blue. Inside, the actual rain pouch is black. So you keep that nice, understated, professional look going on in the outside. All right, so. All right. Ah, this is just so yummy. So yummy. Okay, so just in, again, in love with the color. It does have, as with all of most of things in photo camera bags, it's a uh, modular, so you can change all of these interior dividers to your camera and lens configuration, uh, which is really, really great. Sometimes when I travel, I'll just travel really light. I'll just have like my one body and like maybe two lenses, and I might have like my big wallet and a whole bunch of other stuff in, in here, you know, and this will be my carry on on a plane. And so I'll actually take out one divider, I'll add another one so it does have the extra divider so for you can um, customize that yourself. All right, so here I just wanted to show you uh, some uh, more of an up close viewpoint and some details of the interior so you could actually see it closer than um, me holding it in that last shot. So the extra wide zipper, which is really nice. The interior is that robin's egg blue, which is beautiful. Right now I have one camera body, one lens, one flash, two flash, and those are Nikon SB 800 flashes. So they are, and they're nice and snug, but they're like a full size, you know, strobe. And then um, one lens, which is a 16 to 35 zoom. This is the extra divider. I have an 85 prime, a 50 prime, which I, I put in there on this side with the divider. Um, if you don't use the divider, I would recommend only putting one lens next to each other at a time. Um, you could alternatively use that zoom lens right here, a nice wide zoom. Plus you could also fit in here a like 200 millimeter lens as well. It definitely can fit in here. This is the back portion. That is a designated area for a laptop or tablet. It holds up to an 11 inch laptop. Another little zipper pocket right here. All right, so that gives you the interior. And again, flap that over. You don't even have to zip it because these fabulous magnets are very strong actually. And hold that shut. You know, if it tips over, keeps people from going in. It's just really nice. Um, on the outside is another nice flap plus the roller bag attachment as well. So that's it. Super nice. Gorgeous, streamlined. I cannot wait to get to using this. Uh, thank you very much, Think Tank Photo. Uh, for all of you folks out there who have questions about this bag, since this is more of an unboxing than a full, complete review, I, I, I unboxed, just unboxed it now. I haven't actually tested it. So if you have questions, I will be testing it out soon. Uh, go ahead and post those questions below this video. I'll be able to answer and get back to you very, very soon. Additionally, uh, below this video in the description, I will complete a, a um, link to this specific bag so you can see it uh, when you go straight to Think Tank Photos website through that link. You can also select the two other sizes, the 
Lucido, and the Tutu as well. Um, again, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it right. Uh, we'll get some more education straight from the folks from Think Tank Photo. I just want to say again, thank you all very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.